Hello there, this is Miss Nakayama, and today's lesson is 7.2 systems of linear equations in three of variables. So the last time we did two variables, this time we're tackling three of them. We are going to always, just like we did before, verify the solution of the system of linear equations. We're going to solve systems of linear equations in three variables, and we're going to solve problems using systems of in three variables. So last time we had ax plus by equals c. Now we're going to have ax plus by plus cz equals d. So this is your linear equations in three variables, and we have x, y, and z. <clears throat> so that means that our solution is not an ordered pair anymore, but an ordered triple. And it has to satisfy all the equations. Anything that satisfies all the equations is part of the solution set. So, just like we did before, to show that an ordered triple is a solution of the system, this is x, this is y, this is z. Okay, so I have to go plug those in. x minus 2y plus 3z equals 22. So I'm going to plug in for x and y and z. And I always put parentheses about numbers when I'm plugging in. It just makes it easier to follow the work. And I put that in my calculator, and I get 22. Then I'm going to go to the next one. And I'm going to get 2 times x minus 3y minus z. Does that equal 5? And I'm going to, again, plug in for x, y, and z. And yes, I get 5. And plug it into the last one. 3 times negative 1 plus negative 4 minus 5 times 5 is negative 32. So yes, negative 1, negative 4, 5, and we'll look at that. Negative 1, negative 4, supposed to be positive 5, is a solution of the system. Okay, now I have all the steps written down. There are five of them if you want to pause and write them down, but I'm going to tell you the most important thing that you're going to remember and I'm going to go straight to an example, is that you need to eliminate the same variable from two different pairs of equations. Okay, so here are the five steps. Again, you can pause if you want to write them down. I don't think it's necessary. I think you do know what to do, but because um, I know y'all did this last year, but so I'm going to jump right into an example. All right, so I have x plus 4y minus z equals 20. I'm going to call that equation A. 3x plus 2y plus z is equation B. And 2x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 16 is equation C. So I'm going to combine two pairs. That means I'm going to do A and B, A and C, or B and C. Those are the only pairs that are available. So I'm going to choose two of those, and I'm going to make the same variable fall out. So you're looking at the variables. It does not matter which one you choose, but it's easiest to use the ones that have a one as the coefficient. So in this particular, clearly I didn't figure out why that's happening. Okay. Um, uh, clearly it's going to be easiest to make the Z fall out. So if I add the first pair, those first two equations together, A and B, well, I'm adding them, so x plus 3x is 4x, 4y plus 2y is 6y, and 20 plus 8 is 28. Now I can choose to do another pair, and I like to choose the ones that um, already have different signs because then I don't have to multiply by negative. So I'm going to choose to multiply the first equation, a, by 2, so that this will be 2z, and that will be, I mean, excuse me, that'll be negative 2z, that'll be positive 2z, and they'll fall out when I add them together. So when I show my work, I like to write 2a plus c. So that means that the first one, 2 times x, is going to be 2x. 4 times 2 is plus 8y. And then minus 2z equals 2 times 20 is 40. And then C is just going to be there, and I'm going to add them together. Okay, so 2x plus 2x is 4x. 8y minus 3y is 5y. Negative 2z and positive 2z are going to be 0. 
and then 40 and negative 16 give me 24. Okay, and I didn't mention back here, when I um, added these two together, okay, I refer to that as my hold equation. So that's hold number one. I made a variable fallout, I'm going to stop. Now I made another variable fallout, so that's my hold number two. And I'm going to combine... <laughs> Where'd it go? I'm going to combine these two together to get, so I've got two pairs, and basically now we're back to what we did in 7.1, y'all, and that is two equations and two unknowns make a variable fallout, okay? So if I take that first equation, that first hold equation, and multiply it by negative 1, I'm going to get negative 4x minus 6y equals negative 28. And I'm going to add those together. My x's are going to fall out. 5y, negative 6y, is negative y is going to equal negative 4. Multiply both sides by negative 1, so y equals 4. Now, I'm going to take that and plug it in. You can plug it into either one of the hold equations. Going to make your life difficult if you go up here. Go pick one of these. It does not matter. I chose hold number 2. So I'm going to go plug in for y. So I'm going to put parentheses where I would have a y, 4x plus 5y, and y is 4. So that means 4x, 5 times 4 is 20. When you subtract that, 4x is going to equal 4, so x equals 1. And now I need to go back into one of the top equations because I have found x, I have found y, and I don't have an equation over here with a z in it. So i got to go back up here. And I chose B. Um, again, it does not matter. I chose B because my Z is already positive, so it just saves me a step. But again, I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm plugging it into B, and that means that, <clears throat> excuse me, copying the equation, putting parentheses for what I'm going to plug in. X is equal to 1. Y is equal to 4. And when I simplify that, I find out that Z is equal to negative 3. And so my ordered triple is 1. 4, negative 3. You always put it in alphabetical order, whatever these variables are. A, B, C, M, N, P, whatever you have. When you write the final answer, it's always in alphabetical order. So that's why it's 1, 4, negative 3. Okay. The next example, last example I'm going to do is an application. Um, you have other types of applications in your assignment. If you have any trouble setting up the equations, then you should come see me and ask a question, or you can email me. All right, so this says find the quadratic equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, whose graph passes through those points. Y'all, if the graph passes through these points, that means that these are all x and y's. And so what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go plug in x and y into this thing and get an equation. So when I do this first one, I'm going to have what is y. y is 4 and x is 1. So all I did was take this right here. The y is going to be that y over there. Plug that in at when y is equal to 4 when x is 1. Okay, so I have to square it the first time. So I'll look at the second equation. y is 1 when I go to the second equation. y is 1 when x is 2. And the last one, y is 4 when x is 3. So I'm going to simplify each of those. Okay. I'm just squaring the numbers and then writing it. So 1 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. 4 equals 9a plus 3b plus c. Okay, so I am back to the example like I just did. I got three different equations. Okay, and when you do this type of equation, y'all, the easiest variable I hope you think and tell is going to be c because it doesn't have a coefficient. So just combine two pairs. I chose to, um, and it doesn't matter if you write a plus negative b, or you write a minus b. You just got to keep it straight. So 4 minus 1 is 3. a minus 4a is negative 3a. And b minus 2b is negative b. 
And then I'm going to do C minus B. Again, does not matter, y'all. C minus B. 4 minus 1 is 3. 9A minus 4A is 5A. And 3B minus 2B is plus B. So that was hold number 1. And that was hold number 2. So now when I combine these, if you look at that, my B's are going to fall out. So I'm going to have 6 is equal to 2A. Divide by 2 and A equals 3. Okay? I'm going to go plug it into one of my equations. I'm looking for B, so I'm going to plug it into hold 2 because B is positive. Again, doesn't matter, y'all. But I'm plugging it into hold 2. And when I do, that means it's going to be 3 equals 5 times, what was A? 3 plus B. So B equals negative 12. Can't really see that negative. And I'm going to go plug that into A. Does not matter, as I keep saying. But A says 4 equals A, which is 3. B, which was negative 12, and C. And when you solve that, you get 13. Okay? Now, y'all, this is not three equations and three unknowns. This is an application. So you have to answer the question, I'm supposed to find the quadratic equation. Well, I found A to be 3, B to be negative 12, and C to be 13. So my quadratic equation is going to be Y equals 3X squared minus 12X plus 13. And that is all you have. Y'all know how to do this. Y'all, what's going to mess you up is making little careless mistakes. So when you do your problems, if you get stuck with anything, bring it to me if you can't find your mistake. But you need to practice. So I hope you will do that. Thank you so much for watching. And y'all have a great day.